question 6. Strontium has a decay constant of 7.55 times 10 to the power of negative 10 per second. It is chemically similar to calcium, enters the body through the food chain and collects in the bones. Consequently, strontium is a particularly, particularly, particularly serious health hazard. How long will it take for the sample to remain 0.01% in a nuclear reactor accident? Okay, so sekarang ni. Okay, let me just... How long will it take for the sample to remain 0.01% in a nuclear reactor accident? So that is give, uh, telling us the number of molecules left is going to be 0.01% of the original number of molecules. Lah. Okay, so basically the number of molecule, original molecules is 100%. Okay. Okay, the past two. Oh, okay, so not this one is just that one. Lah. The check up how long will it take for the sample to remain 0 0.01 0 0.01%? So that is here. And then for this one, we are looking for the time. How long? And then this will be kita decay constant. So we are gonna use N equal to N node, E negative, lambda, T. Okay? So, N is 0 0.01. Uh, basically, since this one sudah ada... Wait, actually, let me just redo that. Eh, no. Okay, sama juga lah. Okay, so sekarang ni, it's gonna be 0 0.01% equal to... Oh, I actually don't like to do it that way. I like to rearrange it around the loop. So this is E negative lambda T. So long both sides. It will then be equal to long E negative lambda T. So rearrange for T, you will get long N over N node. This is long E is equal to 1. This is negative lambda okay yeah so sekarang ni um, okay betul lah okay so after that we just have to substitute uh, so it's gonna be 0 0.01 divided by 100 this is negative lambda which is 7.55 times 10 negative ka negative 10 okay so the time is equal to 1.22 times 10 to the power of 10 seconds so since they're more dalam uh they're more dalam years so it's gonna be divide by 60 divide by 60 divide by 24 uh there is 365 days I'm just going to assume it's 365 days to be on average because of the years are going to be different. The days are in the years are going to be different. Lah. But we're just going to assume there. Um, we're just going to use 365 days. So it's going to be. <clears throat> it's going to be 387 years. 380. 6.8 years so it's i'm just gonna round it up to 387 years okay so that is the solution for question six